मंदीम द टॉपिक ऑफ अवर डिस्कशन टुडे इज डायग्नोस्टिक डी एन सी और डायलिटेशन एंड क्यूरिटाज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल टॉक अबाउट द इंडिकेशन ऑफ डी एन सी एंड दोज इंक्लूड इ रेगुलर रिजाइनल ब्लीडिंग और हैवी मेस्ट्रल ब्लीडिंग इन पेशेंट ऑफ मोर देन फोर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एज पोस्ट मेनोपाजल ब्लीडिंग टू चेक द एफिकेसी ऑफ हारमोन थेरेपी लाइक टेमोक्सिफिन टू डिटेक्ट एंडोमीट्रियल कैंसर एंड प्री कैंसरस कंडीशन प्रायर टू सर्जरी to detect the luteal phase insufficiency as a workup of infertility what are the contraindications of dnc those include pregnancy lower genital tract infections pid ca endometrium and ca cervix blood dyskinesis what are the complications or pitfalls of dnc those include infection vaginal bleeding or spotting cramping pain or discomfort uterine perforation or uterine spasm cervical trauma or creation of false opening in the cervix now we will discuss the procedure of dnc the first step is introduction so in tox and oski station of ops and gynae we will say like this first of all i will introduce myself to the patient and take her introduction and i will make sure that there is legitimate indication for its use I will prescribe and document in the patient notes the mesoprostol like cytotec 400 microgram 30 minutes before the procedure and and say like I have proof in 30 minutes prior to the procedure after ruling out all the contraindications to the procedure by taking brief history I will explain the whole procedure and take an informed consent then I will ask the patient to empty her bladder and lie on the couch in dorsal position I will make sure that all the required equipments are present and ready. After wearing the gloves, I will clean the area performed by manual examination to assess the position, size and mobility of the uterus. Then I will introduce the cusco speculum of appropriate size after lubricating it and fix it to visualize the cervix. I will measure the length of the uterus with the uterine sound. gently introduce the large curet use graduated dilators only if curets will not be able to pass begin with a smaller dilator and end with a larger dilator that ensure adequate dilatation of usually 10 to 12 mm evacuate the contents of the uterus with a large curet or ring forceps gently curet the walls of the uterus until a grating sensation is felt After sampling, gently remove the cusco speculum. Empty the contents in the container having formalin and label the specimen. Send the sample to lab and schedule the follow-up visit with the report. How to send the sample? For histopathology, save the sample in formalin. For culture and sensitivity of any bacteria, send the medium without cutting as such to lab with instructions. For mycobacterium tuberculosis, send in normal saline or LJ medium. What are the other techniques of endometrial sampling? Those include Wobra, Schorman curate, pipal endometrial sampling and hysteroscopy. Now how would you provide the post operative care to such patient? First of all observe for any complications like bleeding pain and fever etc secondly monitor pain and treat accordingly thirdly monitor vital signs then give oral analgesics like acetaminophen and ibuprofen for pain relief give full course of antibiotics to prevent infection discharge on instructions for after care or follow up and give advice regarding contraception as well now as we are discussing the endometrial biopsy techniques so it's very important to know about endometrial thickness cut off in the different conditions you can see that the endometrial thickness in premenopausal women depends upon the phase of the menstrual cycle in the postmenopausal women the normal endometrial thickness is 4 mm if it is more than 4 mm then we need to do endometrial biopsy but if the patient is on hrt and she is symptomatic then the endometrial thickness limit is 5 mm or 4 mm according to the recent guideline but if she is asymptomatic the limit is 8 mm in patients with pcos 
the endometrial thickness cutoff level is 7 mm above all these levels we need to do endometrial biopsy so thank you so much that was all about diagnostic dnc subscribe on obstetrics and gynae allah hafiz